Kia ora, Tina Goto. Hello and welcome to episode 6 of Escape the Cage. In today's episode, we're going to carry on and build up our spiral staircase of cobblestone. And to be honest, to be honest, um, I'm, I'm, my eyes are slowly being drawn to the hunger bar, which is, uh, sort of slowly ebbing away into nothing, which is not healthy, to say the least. But yeah, um, I guess that means we kind of need to work on the farms. Or, well, I guess that just means we need to stick around the farms, trying try and keep as unactive as possible, and building a cold stone staircase isn't going to help. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I really want to get to the top of this, even though what I said last time, well, because of what I said last time, I'm thinking there might be some more tools up here, perhaps. But uh, I actually saw in the uh, last episode, there was a comment which uh, reminded me, uh, thank you very much for that comment, that reminded me you can, there's a, a deliberate feature that Mojang has added to Minecraft where you can uh, pour lava on redstone to create obsidian. So that would be the obsidian we can use to get to the n n nether. The problem there though is that we don't have a diamond pickaxe and we don't have any access to any diamonds, at least to my knowledge, and so I was thinking that maybe, just maybe, at the top of this, uh, the top of this here, we're almost near the top now. There might be, there might be some diamonds or something to help us in mining out that obsidian to make a proper portal with. Or actually, no, I guess, yeah. A lot of the people have probably been saying, you don't need diamonds. You just create a mold. And yeah, I have just realised that myself. So. um we don't need diamonds, but uh, it's probably like five times as tricky if you don't have the obsidian blocks to start off, but that would actually probably make it make this more complicated than Skyblock in, in terms of making your nether portal, because in Skyblock they just give you your obsidian. Yes, there's a chest up there. I'm glad I'm come all this way and we're on one drumstick, aka hunger unit because that's what they are, the drumsticks. And yeah, there's a chest up there. I'm glad that I took the bother to come all the way up here. So let's uh, let's see what we got. Once I just, once I get within a reasonable distance, I think I just want to get up to that sand, and then I should be able to pick up, open the chest from there. I may even take the chest with me. I think we'll keep the fences here though, for nostalgia's sake. I mean the wood, so I can easily just make a few more. Okay, six extra pieces of sand, and on top is a, another suitcase, which is that way. Oh boy. Yay. And we got some obsidian as well. Okay, and cake. So we're not going to go hungry. Okay, so we'll just take all this. So yeah, that's definitely worth it, guys. <laughs> Glowstone, some obsidian, some paper bit more redstone and a cake so yeah we don't actually need to use that redstone glitch okay so we'll take the uh, chest with us yeah so that we don't have to make another um, is it up there still or did it decide to fall into oblivion well it's no major loss if it decided to fall into oblivion but Perhaps it is up there. I kind of want to get down and, uh, you know, get my hunger bar back up so that I can gain some health because I'm on one heart here and I'm scaling heights. So it doesn't look like there's a chest up there, which is um, unfortunate. It's probably fallen off the edge of the map. I hope not. But okay, we uh, we did it. We got to the top. We got some goodies. We got eight gold, 
32 redstone, 6 paper, 10 obsidian, and a cake. So, once I get down back into the, the cage, I'll just plop this on the floor, and we'll uh, emergency fill up my hunger bar. I mean, uh, sure I could use the cake as like an aesthetic thing to say, yay cake, but in the end, it's a practical tool, and there's a chest there, that's cool. <laughs> and I'd rather just eat it. Uh, let's just... No, I guess we'll get inside. Half a drumstick left. <laughs> okay, where can I plop it? Let's just plop it there. Oh, so it doesn't actually heal that much. But okay, at least we're not going to die of starvation anytime soon. That's uh, that's excellent. Now, is there anything in there? Okay, no. So we'll just pick this furnace up, move it over, make way for the second chest. Oh yeah. I feel like that's some some sort of challenge complete. But yeah, okay. So where am I going to build the Nether portal? Hmm. And these aren't coming along at all. And now I know in order to open the uh, the nether we're going to have to do some rather tricky work here by having the, uh, this lava right next to a piece of wood, which is right next to... and stop snowing. <laughs> right next to the obsidian, which will... and the fire will... the wood will ignite the fire. The lava will ignite the wood, which will make it on fire, and the fire will ignite the portal. Yes. <laughs> that took a bit. I guess, so we'll just, I guess we'll just make an offshoot off here. Oh, that's interesting. If you break that, it doesn't actually just destroy the snow. It gives you a little snow block. So I guess we'll make some sort of... I don't know, like... Hallway... Walkway just out to a nether portal. I kind of want to make it go out a little bit because I feel like there's there's more challenges that I could do. Well, there's more space that I would need for more challenges. And, you know, just having pass off here would probably be pretty cool as well. Okay, so that's the... Uh, that sorted out. See, if you want to jump the gun and get to the nether early, you can just uh, use that redstone glitch. Or you can climb your... Uh, your pole. <laughs> okay, one, two... Okay, you do not want to mess this up. You do not want to mess this up. Three. Okay, yeah, rather than jumping, I think we'll just play it safe. Right, that's the nether sorted. It's the portal sorted. There we go. Now I probably want to make a wall here just in case I fall off the edge when I come back through. And there we go. And I think we just one final touch. Just make a guide rail along here so that we don't plummet to our deaths every time we try to walk along here. Just like I was about to just then. And yeah, in the background you will have probably notice that the uh, the reed is now two stalks high. That's uh, it's progress. It's good to know that it's actually uh, acceptable conditions for the farm. So we'll just break that off. Put it there. Oh, and one of the seeds, one of the wheat has finally grown. That's good. Okay, we'll uh, take that. And we've got two seeds, so we'll expand our farm. Now, those were melons and those were pumpkins. And then this over here is wheat. Yeah, that's the plan. Because I'll be able to make one piece of wheat with this, I think. And pork is just oinking away in the background. Okay, so we've got two pieces of wheat now. We just need... One more, and that'll be sweet. And yes, I did just realize that I was doing that whole thing there off, off the edge with all this valuable loot. So just 
put this in here, so that's a total of 11 sand. I wonder what I'm going to have to use that for. Plus the... Did you guys hear that? That's a skeleton. Skellington. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, actually, um... I can't take it on, can I? Oh boy. I can't take it on because... I'll die. Is it upstairs? Is it downstairs? I don't think it's downstairs. Downstairs is reasonably well lit. Let's we'll put that there. So yeah, I think I will spend the rest of this episode getting the nether portal on fire and then I'll be able to leave you in suspense as to uh, what's on the other side. Because I'm just that kind of guy. <laughs> uh, so I need my bucket, I need some wood, and we'll just use some of this cobblestone. So we'll take our precious lava down here. Now I don't know if the wood has to be down here, or like just here. Uh, I guess it would work down. I think I believe it would have more luck of working down here. This is this here, and this is going to make an ugly pillar of lava down below. So that should work. It is two by three, right? Yeah, it is. Oh yeah, he's up there all right. Well, things are actually coming along quite nicely in uh, in Escape the Cage. I think uh, we're, uh, we're making progress. And we're almost to the nether. And it's probably a really bad idea to actually be going to the nether with one heart. Oh my goodness. But at least we uh, didn't die of hunger. That cake really probably saved my life, literally. Just a quick bit of inventory management. It's not taking. Why isn't it taking? Hmm. This is probably the first time I've ever had a piece of wood that just like, it's like, you know, you, you know not to build wood. Oh my goodness. That was... How rude. Ah! Okay, I hope we didn't... Okay, well, we didn't lose the bucket. That's good. But, okay, it looks like we lost the sticks. And we lost our hoe. But other than that, it looks like we're good. Anyway, well, that's, that solves the, uh, the hunger crisis for now. Not in the way that I was hoping. I was hoping to try and not die in this map. But darn. Darn. <laughs> okay, I think it's time to uh, use up another piece of charcoal. Or make another piece of charcoal using the furnace. And then we'll be able to make some more torches. And there we go. Uh, sticks, yeah. Like so. Just a few more torches. I'm just trying to be careful about the wood because the wood situation is pretty delicate at this point. Uh, let's go check. Blah. Let's actually just go ahead and place a torch right next to that so that it's, uh, always got a suitable amount of light. A little interesting fact, trees in the real world, they actually rely on the, the, the length of the night to grow, rather than in Minecraft where it's the day. And that just isn't working. I mean, am I doing something wrong? Let's try multiple pieces of wood. Let's actually 
No, I don't really want to do that. No, I don't really want to do that either. <laughs> I'm, I just kind of want to uh, put the lava here. And, uh... Hmm. I kind of, I don't really want to finish the episode until I've got... Oh, there we go. It's taking. I think the lava put the wood out. Well, that is just weird. <laughs> it was on fire, right? You saw it. It was on fire. But goodness me. Why isn't it just being on fire? Ignite! Ignite! Perhaps a log might have more luck. Or how about that? I don't really want to finish the episode until this nether portal is working. That's what I'm thinking. Because it, it kind of seems a little... I don't really want to have to say, come back in the next episode where, uh, where this will have been ignited and working. I, I want you to see it. But it's just not lighting. It's like I could build a wooden house with the lava in and it wouldn't catch fire. And that's probably like the worst possible place to stand. Anyway, in other news, it stopped raining slash snowing finally. Which is good. Come on! Well, how about we do some sort of a fast forward type deal here. We'll uh, wait until it's been fixed. Fixed? Until it's caught fire. Alright. It's finally taken. The wood's finally taken. And will it transfer around and light the portal on fire? It's on fire. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. I'm kind of just trying to kill the lava now. Oh, the cobbles? Cobblestone's on fire? Ah! <laughs> Come on! Come on! Yes! Boom! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Come on! Please. Oh, I see lava's in the way. No! No! What? It's not. What? No! Why? Why? <laughs> that has got to be the biggest. This is. How could it be to light a piece of wood on fire? In the right place. I mean, seriously, come on. <sighs> um. We may have to leave it here, folks. I really didn't want to do this, but we might have to leave it here. The episode's starting to get a little long. Um, and in the next episode, hopefully we will have gotten this working, unless it can catch fire in the next 10 seconds. Come on! Come on! Come on! Please! 
Please. Please. No, I'm not really crying. Come on. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you for watching episode 5 of Escape the Cage. Um, yeah, uh, a lot of fail. A lot of fail. See you next time. Kaki <laughs>